Hi everyone, welcome to Mother Tucker's Flip and Finds. I spent two days thrifting this weekend. Um, wasn't really planning on the second day, but I made it work. So um, I stopped at four different thrift stores and I spent about $160 total, which is a lot more than what I usually spend, but I'm not gonna be able to thrift possibly for a couple weeks, so I decided I better pick up some stuff that um, I can li list throughout the next couple weeks. So um, I have my stuff here from Goodwill first, and I did pay up for a couple of things, but I wanted to see how they would do. Um, so first thing here I bought was this Stoneware Schaefer Beer Mug. It's personalized. It's Third Area Command New York Guard. I paid $1.99 for this and upon doing comps I should be able to ask around $25 for it. Um, the other mug that I picked up at Goodwill was this Caribou Coffee. This is my Baja mug and I know it's past Christmas but Christmas stuff still sells all year round. Um, this I have, I'll have listed for, sorry, um, about $12. I bought these Nike Free Run 2s. They are a youth size 6.5 and I paid $5.99 for them. But... I am a size eight and a half women's and they were just a little bit too small on me. So someone who is like a seven and a half, eight in women's would be able to wear these no problem. They're in really good shape. Um, you can tell they were worn a little bit outside, but they're really lightweight, really nice sole on them. And those I will ask about $40 for. I also found these and these are pretty much brand new. They're a Saucony Power Track Peregrine shoe and they almost have like a camel green and a hunter orange and a gray over top of it. Um, super cute and these are selling for about $70 online. So I decided to take the chance and pay the $14.95 $14.99 that they were asking for them. The other pair of shoes that I found, and normally I wouldn't do this, but were these Converse. They're men's size 12. And like I said, I paid $14.99 for these also. They have not been worn. They are brand new. And they were customized by Converse, which I have done um, in the past for my sister when she got married I ordered her a pair but these say husband on the back of them and I think with how popular Converse are when people are getting married now that this will actually be able to sell to have them customized they're about a hundred dollars so I think if I start them out listed at about 70 I should be able to get close to 60 or $70 for these. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've been battling a cold the last week. Um, this bag right here, which is a Kelly Ray Roberts tote, um, it's brand new. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. There's a fleck of paper or something on it but it says unleash your joy it's really cute i paid 7.99 for it and they are selling online for around 39 dollars. it's just a nice lightweight canvas tote and then i found this which looking at it it's not really that pleasant looking but it is handmade it's made by carolit and I paid $2.99 for this. It's hand painted and it's just a ceramic little basket. And these are selling 
for around $25 online. And then I found this Jerry Lee Mickey Mouse mug. And I just love finding mugs because they don't take up a lot of room to store. You can usually make around $10 on each one and they're really easy to ship. Um, this one here is selling for around $15 online is what sold comps look like. And when I'm talking about sold comps, what I do is a lot of the time I'll go into eBay and in the search tab, you can either take a picture of your item or you can put in the words and then search for what you have. And if you go to your filters, there's an option that says sold, sold items, and you can click on that and it'll show you when the last one sold, if any have sold. Um, you can kind of figure out your sell through rate by comparing what is available and what is has sold and this seems there were 13 of these listed and there were 12 of these sold so that's a really good sell through rate um then i found this coffee tamper and i had no idea what this was we don't have coffee shops like this around here that i know of um but it is basically a weighted it's got a spring in it and you use it to press down. This one's for espresso, it's 51 millimeters, but you use it to press down your um, grounds into the cup when I looked it up. But this I paid $3.99 for, and it should sell for around $17 or $18. Then I found this Chroma Cube Logic Puzzle. It's new in the box which is why I even looked at it. Um, you probably hear Little Feet. That's my little beagle, Juniper. She has to be in on the action, apparently. Um, anyway, it's just got 25 different puzzle cards in here, and you have to figure out how to get them. Juni, no. No. She sees the stuffed animal in the bag, and she thinks it's hers. Um, and you have to figure out how to do it. Um, create the puzzles. So this was $3.99 and I am, they're selling online for, I apologize, around $19. So I'll make a little bit back on there. I found this, it's so bright and colorful. It is a, Pop Art Soft is the brand of it. It's just so soft and it's got, it's weighted and it almost feels like an extremely soft Squishmallow. But I paid $3.99 for this and these are selling online for around um, $30. So I figured I'd list mine for around $27. I better keep that up on the table. <laughs> um, I remember back in the day I used to work at this little pharmacy when I was in high school and we always sold the this brand called Quarry, Quarry Critters and I loved them but I found two of their items at Goodwill this week so someone else must have loved them at one time too. But I found these four little dogs, oh my gosh they're so cute, it's called Puzzled but this was $2.99. And this I will sell for around $15. They're made out of a fake stone. It's like a resin material. And then I found this, which I have not seen any online. I've seen none on eBay available or sold. And when I do a search on Google, I can't find it. And when I do um, a search through Google Lens, there are none. But it's a welcome sign. And it's got the quarry critters bears all over it. It is kind of heavy because it's made out of resin. But this was made in 2002. This I spent $3.99 on. Um, and it's got the hanging tags here. But that I'm going to be asking $36 for. And then I found this Backyard Buddies frog, which is really cute. 
they have a lot of people collect frogs and I just loved it. So I did pick this up. It was $1.99 and this I'm going to be asking around $12 for. And then on to the hats and then we will be through Goodwill. Oh, I have one other thing too. But I found this PlayStation controller hat. It's basically like brand new. It's made by PlayStation. This, I, all these hats were $1.99 a piece. And this one, I am going to be asking um, around $12 for it. I love these types of hats, these trapper, or these, um, I'm sorry, <laughs> these brimmed hats. And this is called a uh, Kurignal. Um, it's a Kurignal Redondo hiking hat, and it's in the natural color. But these clip up. It's got the detachable neck strap, and it's a men's size large, extra large. It's got the venting on the side. These are about $60 online through the company. I picked it up for $1.99, and I'm asking $28.65 for that. And I found this new with tags Kubota hat. Um, once again, $1.99, and I am asking $14 for this, $14.99. I found this I love my horse hat. It reminded me of one of my daughter's friends who's a little horse crazy. Um, but it's got the hook and loop. Um, you're not allowed to say Velcro on eBay or Poshmark. So the hook and loop back adjustable or adjustable back and then it's like never been worn and that I have listed at ten dollars and I found this Nike golf hat once again it's like brand new adjustable in the back this I paid a dollar ninety nine for and this I'm asking fourteen ninety nine and then this one's my favorite welcome to the shit show and this one I am asking $12 for. The, oh, I have two more items. So I found this Norwex Ultra Power Plus. It's never been opened. It's their powder um, laundry detergent. And I used to use this, but I bought it for $3.99 and I am going to be asking $35 for this. Um, $35.95. I think is the cheapest I've seen it go for this size on eBay. So that was a good find. And then the best is this Vermont Country Store. This is the heaviest flannel robe I have ever seen. It's two layers of a heavy flannel. It's in excellent condition. It's probably just below the knee when on. I paid $4.99 for this. And when I looked them up online, the sold comps are around $70. So I will be listing that at $70 and willing to go down a little bit. So then I went to this little thrift, stop, thrift store that I stopped at. And the name of it was Able Light Thrift Store. And it's really expensive. They really priced their things high. Um, there were a couple pairs of sandals I looked at. There was a pair of Chacos which usually sell for like $20, $25, and they wanted, I believe it was $14.99, and then there was a pair of Keen sandals, and they wanted $12.99 for them, and they resold for like $28, so I didn't get either one of those, but I did find a couple of things, first one being this Willow Tree Friendship Trinket Box, and it is the Trinket Box Friendship. And on the inside it says Forever True, Forever Friends. This was $2.99. And then I found this Willow Tree Angel of the Garden, which reminds me of my grandma. This was also $2.99. So the Trinket Box, I'm going to be asking $19.99 for. And then each one of these Willow Tree Angels, I'm going to be asking $12.99 for. Um, the other one was the 
willow tree angel of friendship and it's got all these little wire flowers on here and then the willow tree of happiness which has three little birds i was kind of bummed because the lady just tossed them in a bag and i tried to be careful with them but i think when she did that it was on a glass counter and one of the bird's wings broke off so i do have that wing and I'll, I'll glue it back together and just disclose it in my listing. So this one I might actually list just a little bit less, maybe $11 or so. Then I found these Robeson steak knives, which it is missing one. Um, I paid $2.99 for this. And Robeson is actually a brand that I look out for because it sells pretty decent. The... Holder here is kind of beat up, but the knives are in really good shape. Um, when I looked online, some of the ones that have sold are missing two or even three of them, and they're selling for $20 or $30. And so this I will list for, for $30. Um, then I found this Rush by Dennis and Charles, which is an anthropology brand. Anthropology is a store or an online base that sells really expensive, overpriced clothing, jewelry, and accessories, shoes. Um, they even sell like housewares, which I do have a couple pieces of their like cooking stuff. I have a brownie baking dish and a. Um, rolling pin that I bought at Christmas time and those have not sold yet so I probably will lower the price on those but this is just a resin necklace which is not something that I would ever wear but there is people who would and so I paid $1.99 for this online new in the store this is $108 but I will be asking $25 because um that's about what they're reselling for. Then I went to St. Vinny's and hold on one second. I just have to let my dog go. Then I went to St. Vinny's and I just got a couple of things this day. Um, so I love The Office, and this is a nice big 20-ounce mug, but it's Dwight Schrute, and it just says false, which I love. Um, this was originally sold by Spencer Gifts, and which increases the cost of it, or the price of it that I'll be asking. So I bought this for $1.56, and I'll be selling it for $14.99. Then I found this Natural Life uh, camera mug for 99 cents. On the inside right here, it says, Stop, smile, breathe. Life is beautiful, which sometimes I really just have to hear that. Then I found this Dog is Good mug, and it made me laugh so hard in the store. People probably thought I was crazy. But it says, we had to give the children away. Mr. Pudding Stone was allergic. And this lady's got her little pug right here. Um, this I paid 99 cents for, and I will be asking $12.99 for this. And then I found this soft surroundings. It's called the Touch of Cashmere Leander Sweater. Kind of makes me laugh because it's got 5% cashmere in there and they are marketing it as that. But blue was the 25% off color of the day. And so they were asking $4.04 and I paid $3.03 for this. And they are reselling online for around $25. So that's what I'll start by, start asking for it. Then I went to a thrift store a little bit closer to home. Um, they're only open three days a week and they usually have some good stuff but by the time I can get there if I want to go thrifting further away on Fridays is Saturday and they don't really restock Thursday and Friday they do it 
the following week at the beginning of the week. So if I go on Saturday, it is pretty picked over, but I did find a couple good things. I spent a total of $15.30 and um, the first thing that I got was this book, Death in Yellowstone. It's a second edition and it's Accidents and Foolhardiness in the First National Park. This I paid 75 cents for and I have it listed at $12.99. <clears throat> And then I found these five PS3 games. They were $1.25 a piece, so I paid $7.25 for all five of them. But they're pretty good ones, and they're all nice and clean on the disc. Um, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, Red Dead Redemption, um, Uncharted 2, Skyrim, and then Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmare. And so what I did was I just lotted all five of these together since only one is rated teen, the rest are mature. So I listed all of those together for $30 on eBay and hopefully they sell. Um, they are selling around eight to $10 a piece. So I figured this was an easier way to do it. Then I found these, oh gosh, Taos, Taos, I can't remember how to say it, but they're basically new. They're clogs, hardly worn. There's a little bit of wear right here. I paid $3.50 for these, but this brand has really come back. Um, every time I get it, it sells relatively fast. So I paid $3.50. They're a size eight and a half. And those I am going to be asking $29 for. And then I found this which is made in Minnesota. It is Winona Knits, 100% pure wool, and it's a women's large, and it's gorgeous. It's got the elbow pads, which is leather. Um, this I paid $3 for. It's got this kind of heathered, um, multicolored look to it, and that I'm going to be asking $30 for. Um, I lied when I said I only went four thrift stores. One of them is not really a thrift store. I went to, there's a place about an hour away that has giant bins and you can dig, dig, dig for them. For, they have hats, belts, purses, clothes, shoes, anything but hard goods there. So I did go there and I found quite a bit of stuff this week. I found these kids Ugg boots. They're really cute. There is a little bit of wear on them, but not a lot. So I'll probably list these around $20. I found these old school Adidas shoes. Um, there is a little bit of wear on them. But each pair of these shoes was $2.49. And so I will, um, the nice thing about these is that they have Dr. Scholl's um, insoles in them. And so I will lift those out and then the other new insoles will be underneath, which will help the resale on them. But I'll have to clean them up. But once again, $2.49. I'll probably list these for $20 also. And then I found these Marvel Toms, which Toms don't do very well for me unless they are something like this. Um, I know in a previous video I had showed some music notes. Those still haven't sold, but I have a lot, a lot of likers on them. These Marvel ones are reselling for like $70. I don't get it, but I'm just going to go with it. I'll probably list these right around $60, so that way they'd be a quick sale. They are women's nine. And then I got a whole bunch of hats. So <clears throat> I got this Minnesota Vikings hat. Looks more like a lady's hat, and it's kind of a terry cloth material, sweatshirt material. 
and it's NFL branded by New Era. And this I'll list about $15. I found this kids, um, Mickey, Goofy, and Daffy hat, or Donald hat, I'm sorry. And so I'll list this about $10. And it's Disney. So if it's Disney branded, but it's not Disney Parks or Disney World or um, like a specific where you can only buy it in one place, a lot of the time it doesn't resell for as much. So this one, like I said, I'll relist for $10. And all of the stuff besides the shoes is pay by the pound, including the purses. Um, so I had 19.4 pounds. Some of that was for personal use or for a friend of ours or something, you know, um, I found like a refing shirt that I know our school could use. So I picked that up and just donated that because they're very light and the school doesn't have to pay the $35 for it anymore. I paid literally 80 cents. So, um, 19.4 pounds probably 15 of that was for my reselling and that included like i said all of my shirt my shoe uh <laughs> my purses my hats and my clothing um so i found this new york yankees hat and it is a sweatshirt material and it is um mlb genuine merchandise and it's adjustable. It's got the hook and loop closure, which is really clean. This has hardly been worn, as you can tell right here. Um, this is reselling for a lot of money. There were sold comps on there, upwards of $50 for this hat. So I'll make sure to clean it up, rebend the bill a little bit, and then I'll get it listed probably right around $40 to $45. I found this vintage Wisconsin Badgers hat. It's really flimsy, but vintage hats sell really well. And this is old school. It's just, there's nothing to it. So I'll list this probably around $16. I haven't run comps on this yet, <clears throat> but probably around $16. I found this Lake Girl hat, which I know they sell at a bunch of higher end boutiques around here. Um, it's just very popular. We live in Wisconsin, and there are more lakes than Minnesota, <laughs> but a lot of people go to the lake on the weekend. And then I found this glamping hair, don't care hat, and that one is like brand new once again. And then I found this camping life hat, which has the hook and loop closure, and it's literally like brand new. Then I found this Lining Kugels hat, which is fitted, so they're a little bit harder to sell, but it's cute. Liney's is the closest brewery to our area, probably, except for ones that I don't really drink. Um, I don't like IPAs and things like that. So Liney's is the closest brewery to us that I will drink. Um, and then I have this. It's a five panel vintage Aztec hat and it's made by E Flag. And it is, I think it'll sell. It's really cool. Um, the bill doesn't even have a bend in it yet. I love it. And then I found this, which is by far the coolest hat I have ever found at the bins. It is a vintage red man chewing tobacco hat it is so cute and it's in really good condition it's got a little bit of dirt up on top but i'll just clean that up quick this online is selling between 30 and 50 dollars and it is very light i probably paid 60 or 70 cents for it so that was a good buy i will list that right around 40 and be willing to go down to about 30. Then for the purses and bags that I found, I found this Steve Madden purse, which is in really good condition. It's got some markings on the back, but they're raised, so I know a good old magic eraser will get that right off. 
and then it's got this fold down flap in the front where your cards can go and the inside of the bag still has the silica gel so you know it's new and it's also got that in the back with the fold down I found this which is a crossbody miniature backpack and it's made by new pouch when I looked this up, it is RFID, um, it's RFID protected, and they're expensive. This is reselling for around $30 to $50. I'm going to list it for around $40, but it's also got a USB plug-in on it. So this was a good find. And I found this mini Jansport backpack. It does have a little bit of, on what, one side, a little bit of stuff here. I'll just throw it in the washer, get it listed. This will probably go for between $25 and $30. Then I found this Myra bag. Myra is a recycled or upcycled purse company. And all of this comes from the leather and the... Usually it's like a, a knit or a quilted front on it, tapestry kind of, and this is what their logo looks like, Myra bag. But this, I'll probably get between $25 and $30 for this also. It's got real leather, leather strap, and it, this is an excellent condition. Okay, so we got cut off there for a second. So I also found this Duluth Trading Company crossbody or shoulder bag. And Duluth Trading Company is a really good brand. They're built to last and they're known for having 100 compartments to hold anything you can possibly imagine. Um, the inside of it is pretty much in perfect condition. There's also bag or a zip pouch and two slip pouches in here. And the back has a slip pouch and then if you don't want to open up the t or open up the whole flap it has a zipper here so you can just reach your hand inside of it so it's pretty cool um the last one i sold like that i sold for about 35 dollars i did find some clothes i found this nike hoodie which is fleece and it has Fleece on the front and then quilted sleeves. It's in excellent condition. I can get $20 easily for that. Then I found this really heavy Breckenridge hoodie. Um, and I just love it. I love the color of it. I love how clean and crisp the screen printing is on it. So that will probably get about $20. Then I found these Columbia, Columbia Omni Shade Shorts. Um, a lot of people are going on vacation right now, as I've stated in previous videos. So people are looking for nice shorts like this. Those I'll probably get 15 for. I found this Prana dress. Prana is a brand that sells pretty well for me. It's got built-in cups and it's got a little halter top um, racer back on it it's about knee length and it's a women's size large so that I think will be really good to sell I'll probably get about 25 for that I also found this Nanette Lepore women's three-quarter sleeve zip side wool blend sweater it's absolutely gorgeous it's this wine, deep wine color. I love it. So my total spent for this these trips was $156.16. And after I took that, the cost and the fees out of my projected profit, my profit would be $1,010.60. So it was a great weekend. Thank you all so much for joining me, and if you like my content, please like and subscribe so you know when I put out more videos. I really appreciate it. Thank you.